Hello, this is uh, Silvia Pavoni, Investments Editor of the Bank, reporting from the first official day of the Inter-American Development Bank meeting in Montevideo, Uruguay. I'm talking to Paul Trigigio, Credit Suisse Vice Chairman for Debt Capital Markets. And uh, Paul, how has the year started? Thank you, Silvia. Well, sitting here in Montevideo in March, the year has started off probably a lot better than any of us could, expected, could have expected uh, at the beginning of January. It started off very well indeed. What has driven this uh, good start of the year? I think that there are a, a couple of reasons for the tremendous uh, performance of issuance in the early part of the year. One is the focus globally on emerging markets in Latin America as an asset class, if, if you will. And secondly, are some technical uh, factors underpinning the investor focus on the sector. Such as? Well, I think in the context of emerging markets, clearly the emerging markets and Latin American economies have demonstrated their resilience to the financial crisis, the continuing high relative growth rates of emerging market economies to the developed world, sovereign credit, at the, both the outlook for sovereign credit and the upgrades that Latin America, I believe something like nine upgrades in the last 12 months for Latin American um, institutions. And um, on the technical side, we see that number one, emerging markets, particularly emerging markets corporates, have evolved as a dedicated asset class, which in turn increases the focus of, uh, f of the fund flows that specialized funds have been experiencing in specialized bond, I, I'm sorry, that specialized bond funds have been experiencing not only last year, but continuing into this year. So this uh, really sets a very nice um, start of the year. And what do you think um, will uh, happen as the year progresses? Well, with the usual caveat about external events, events over which we have no control, I think that these factors which have seen investors focus on the asset class are in place. As I said, the fundamental economies, the fundamentals around the emerging market economies on the one hand, and the market liquidity and focus on the relative value of emerging markets as an asset class on the other. Uh, what specific country um, is uh, going to attract more interest from investors, do you think, uh, within Latin America? Well, I think within Latin America, traditionally, and indeed we've seen that at the beginning of the year, both uh, Brazil and Mexico, uh, both from the sovereign and the corporate uh, perspective, have, have supplied anywhere between 50 to 60 percent of, uh, of the supply. And as you have begun to see this year with issues from Peru, corporate issues from Peru, with corporate issues from Colombia, we can see that ap appetite expanding. I think that we're going to see a diversification both of country of origin, if you will, and of credit rating in this environment. So it's going to be, it will keep on being a lively year then for Latin America. The year started off on a record pace. And absence the traditional caveat about external events, there's no reason whatsoever why this should not be a record year for Latin American debt issuance. Paul, thank you very much for your comments. Thank you very much, Sylvia.